Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another normal ass normal game sent in by the community over at patreon.com slash lag TV. This one coming in uh from you know what? I'll wait until the end to to, to say it. They're gonna know. As soon as soon as I show the names, they're gonna know anyway. Oh, I see the problem. Look at the damn banner. Okay, yeah, well <laughs> this comes in from Alex. Yeah. Uh, who's a ten dollars supporter on Patreon? Shoutouts to Alex. And we gotta hit me up with that noise. That's right, I see that, Mr. Maximus Black. Yup. Hit me up with the sound of the what is? What is that? Do you know what that is? The sound of the classic. You don't know what that is? <laughs> Is that what that's supposed oh, to represent? Oh, come on, that's gotta be that. That's gotta be that. That's, that's, and you know okay. what? I forgot to write down the name of the guy who put in that. Yeah, I'm noticing that it's as well. It's from a $25 uh, supporter, and... They will know. You will You will know. But thank you. Yeah, he wanted the old school... The old school noise? And, and you just put old you school know what? noise? He spelt it like this. Z-Z-V-V-W-W-U-P-H. That's got you. I think you're right. I, I was gonna say the old school noise. Let's do that one more time. Just okay. Just a little more smooth. All right. All right. Mr. Maximus Black. Yep. Hit me up with that old school noise. Shh. Well, you got like three and a half on that there one. There you go. Whatever. This value. Starting down here in the bottom left position, we have Lag TV Alexa. The prestigious. Lag TV clan. Alexa. Oh, Alexa. We've, we've, we've casted Alexa games in the past. I think so. Uh, and we also have up in the top right, we have Zer From the ZZZZZ clan. Uh, normal ass normal game sent in by you guys. Uh, by the way, we are now getting to the point where, uh, I'm gonna be starting to cast maybe some people that were already cast, because there's only so many people that are sending in replays, and I'm trying to get in as many new, if I see new names, I try and get them up right Otherwise, away. Otherwise, if they're paying for it, they get it. They get it, we're just gonna keep flying them out. So hopefully the games are going to be uh, continue to be good because you guys have actually been sending in some decent games. Straight up, there's uh, been some pretty good games that we've had. Yes, sir. To this point, well, Zer, Zer is going to go ahead and bring out some six Zerglings. Sending out the uh, the six Lings here up front while he uh, sends out the expansion as well. Bob is already in. Bob's ready for this. Bob ready to do his job. Born for this job and ready for it. All the same, here they come. They're going to get up the ramp. They're going to get immediately blocked. Oh no, they're oh, not. They're going to try smart. and just yeah go for mm. the uh, Nexus. You're not going to get up this ramp uh, unless oh, Bob but gets he could baited. But he could run around him. Baited. Oh no, yeah. Oh, oh look at the mic. He's wow. gonna not lose a oh. single ling. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. I like it. I see you. Alex. I see you, Zer. Getting Shrek there, and now this second pub's going, nah, fuck that. Uh, Just watch this co-worker get smacked around. I mean, one more zealot after this, and you can do all the micro in the world, and it's not going to matter. Uh, Ooh. yeah. Got there one. There you go. Now, now the, now the yeah. zealot's getting micro The Zerglings have to back up. Didn't even get through the shield, so that's a positive there. Shield's going to regen. Yep. Uh, and that's great news for, uh, for Alexa. He got the Zealot, though. He forced another Zealot. Now there's another Zealot, and two Stalkers on the way, and no Warp Gate research being, uh, researched at the moment. So, yeah, very interesting opening. a little bit. Little, little, maybe a little frazzle-dazzle. I think so. On that, and I don't blame him. I mean, how often do you get to see Zergling Micro versus a single Zealot? It doesn't happen that frequently on Light TV. No, it doesn't. Definitely not here on Light <laughs> it definitely TV. Definitely does not happen. Well, that is a brave stalker. stalker. Getting brazen. Uh, but here comes. Look at that. Jabated. Well, he might actually have enough Zerglings here to kill off the two Jibated. zealots. Jabated. He's gonna get one of the. Ooh, nice micro oh. here from Alex. Wow, keeping all the lings alive. Oh, They're gonna going go after on. the stalker. Bob goes down. The second Bob's gonna go with him, and uh, these stalkers need to run up. He's gonna, Damn, he right. needs to swap the positions of those stalkers to get the healthy one Where's up front. the Metabolic? Okay, Metabolic is 75% done. I'm getting there. The Gateway Research is also en route. Mm. It's still very slow, mm. though, and if Metabolic cracks and he gets a couple of reinforcements first before that warp gate, that could be a uh, very difficult hill to climb well, for Alexa. Uh, he got three, four probes in total there, so that wasn't bad at all. Got a couple of Zealots. Warpgate research is finally on the way and about 70% done. Morling's lining up, and I think now we're at the point where Alex is going to be able to safely hold, even when Metabolic finishes, which it just did. Uh, I don't see this being a problem for Alex anymore. No, he's got those Zealots up front. He's got three to, to help out Steve and Steve Jr., Mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to be more than enough. Meanwhile, up on the other side. Oh, he's going to go in for this. Not the smartest uh, move because he's just going to keep losing all of his Zerglings. 
He could have probably kept one or at least uh, two, maybe even at least one of those zealots alive there. He has enough here to do it. Put down a shield battery and then stop this madness. Yeah, that's getting a little frisky. I mean, these Zerglings, at the very least, have been trading as far as how much yeah. cost. Yeah. I mean, you have to take into consideration that these Zerglings mean no drones are being produced as well, or other units. Yeah. But at the end of the day, from like just a mineral perspective, I think it's probably pretty pretty neck and neck right now. Yeah, I mean, he's not doing too bad. He's gonna, he's gonna, no, he's not gonna get up here. Zealots just keep popping. He's gonna go back at the mineral line. Even more Zerglings now, though. This is starting to get a little uh, dicey well, for I mean, a Protoss player. He, yeah, he, and he's just, he, uh, while he's doing all the Zergling oh, uh, oh. send outs, there you go. The warp gate's gonna make a big difference. He's getting to his third now. So yep. the Zerg's plan really right now is just to put continuous pressure, yep. keep the Protoss to one base. Uh, and get your third base up right now is what he's is what he's just trying to do, and he's being very successful at it to this point. He is, uh, but he got to be careful because he's got to keep trading well. Because every time he comes in from here on out, and he doesn't kill units or not many of them, this army's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's going to get to the point where he's going to do one big attack, or he's going to keep doing these small attacks. Uh, Alex is going to finish defending and then just counter, and it's going to be a bad news bears. Uh, for when the Protoss gets over there, especially if he can manage to get out a Warp Prism. He's getting out an Immortal, but if he can get a Warp Prism and he can do a next big hold, he can do one big push out there and uh, potentially end the game. Absolutely. He's just got one Sentry there. I wouldn't mind seeing maybe uh, at least one more uh, at, at the time, but uh, we've got the Immortal here now, and I imagine a Prism or something is coming as well that, uh, oh no, second Immortal, All which right. is not going to serve him poorly. The Roachmorn is coming out here for Xur here momentarily, and he's mm -hmm. getting Burrow as well, yep. and so he's going to want to have maybe a, an observer to, uh, to supplement this. So the fact that he is getting a second immortal, I'm totally fine with, but what I would like to see in the situation like this, take that uh, sentry, get a hallucination phoenix out, and go and scout your opponent because typically I just like to grab one immortal, get the warp prism and get out for a timing attack. When you're getting the second, now you're going to be allowing the Zerg to get that layer tech, potentially go muta and hard counter you. So you just want to make sure that your opponent isn't hard countering you, and it's as simple as making that hallucination. Blizzard did something right for once and made it so that it doesn't cost 100 uh, energy to do a hallucination. So get that out there, go and scout, uh, see what he's doing, and then if you feel like, okay, he's going to be going roaches or even Hydra Roach, then you can continue to get your immortal and go from there. Yeah, here comes that warp prism. It looks like uh, it looks like uh, our boy Alexa is going to start posturing to get ready to attack. And here's the thing too: is that even though he's technically two base, I suppose. I mean, a one base Protoss, if he uh, if he's allowed to build up, like you said, slowly over time with the uh, efficiency of the Zerglings getting less and less uh, as attacks go on, can definitely still wipe out. A Zerg, if oh, he's yeah. not careful. Oh yeah. Uh, especially if they're macroing hard, which is kind of what Zerg has been doing behind all of these, uh, all of these Ling production. I think which he's fucked. I think this is game. Yeah. Because all of his, he's, I think he's been using the majority of his yeah. larvae has been going directly into Zergling production. It was. And he doesn't have anything. And then, and then as soon as he was done attacking with Zerglings, he went heavy into drones. And yep. while he's going heavy into drones, all these gates finished, and now he's pushing up. He's got two immortal here. He's got that <laughs> second century that you called for. Lots of energy, and there's the warp prism. It's over. There's no way you're holding this. Uh, As 23 banelings, if they hit the right way, might help them. I don't even know. But it depends on where the banelings hit, right? He needs to soak up every one of those zealots. Those banes go in it. Okay, he that's is. Every that's every one a big, of those zealots. That's big hits. But he could still have reinforcements. He still has the warp prism. There's going to be a big warp cycle here. And uh, it's going to be tough to hold with two immortals and just a couple of roaches. No, I think that's it. He's got the ramps uh, blocked off there. That was really important for that second century for this attack there to be able to have the energy to, to you know, really start to choke out the Zerg player at the ramp as he just did. Uh, those immortals surviving there. I mean, that was the right the right play by the Zerg to get the, the Zealots. Yeah. But like you said, with the War Prism there, uh, and he doesn't have anything to answer that War Prism. He, did, he, he had it's a over. lot of time to get to Hydra or anything. He didn't get to any of that. He didn't have the Queen count to deal with the... Uh, uh, with the Warp Prism either, and uh, now the Protoss is just kind of having uh, his way with the uh, with the natural expansion. Yeah, he's just going to keep warping in here. Both Immortals are still alive and kicking it, and uh, Zergling's most certainly not going to be the answer here with so many Zealots still in play. Uh, Roaches definitely would have been it. Nice attack, and it was a nice attack. It was a good timing attack. Yep. And the thing is, is if he would have waited like two, three minutes longer, the, the three base would have kicked in against this two base, and a guy that's only on one gas probably going to be GG. Like, there was just, he picked the perfect time to counterattack and make it happen. It was a good timing, and uh, it waited any longer, he probably would have lost. And it was, you know, uh, I... Credit or not, uh, he did it without really scouting, right? Yeah. He just did it blindly on. Uh, I mean, you could you could you could infer 
a lot based on what he was seeing just to the fact of the sheer volume of Zerglings that were streaming in yeah. that he was unlikely to be against an opponent that was particularly gas uh, heavy with anything or that he was doing anything other than macroing up some extra bases behind it because really what else could you do if yeah. all of your larva is going towards the production of Zerglings so I agree well done good game Thank you so much, uh, Alex, for the continued support on the Patreon. And if you guys want to submit your games, patreon.com slash lag TV. Uh, there's different tiers for different peers. Tears for fears. There you go. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>